Hi again, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Bershbeck at the Imagination Station on the high wire bike. A lot of folks uh, pass this one up, a little bit scary with heights. <laughs> it's going to be a great experiment teaching about the center of gravity. This, of course, Carl Nelson, and it's always science. This yeah. one's going to be a fun one as I will be hanging well above the floor back there. You'll be 20 feet above the floor. Our high wire cycle, the number one question we get, besides am I tall enough to ride it, is can I fall off or can it flip over? So I thought we'd look at that today, look okay. at some of the science behind that. So why don't you go ahead and back up a little bit, maybe six okay. feet, and we're going to do something. We're going to suggest something that we don't normally ask our visitors to do, but just for today, you're going to do it. Stop about right there. Now, you're about 20 feet up in the air. I want you to try to shift your weight back and forth. Try to rock the bike. Okay. There okay. we go. Kind of get in resonance like you're riding a swing. And give us a sense of how hard it is or how easy it is to do that. It's very easy once the momentum starts going. Okay. But to get it going, yeah. So, so see, I mean, this is what people should not be doing when they come here. They should not be doing okay. this. But it is an interesting thing because you're only twisting about 30 degrees or so. <laughs> and if you try really hard, you might be able to get up to 40 degrees, and that's about it. Okay. It's very, very hard to do. So why don't you go ahead and scoot back in. All right, here And we'll I look come. at some of the science behind this here. Now, one of the reasons why you're safe on the bike is that there's a special lock on the seatbelt that you can't release yourself to. Okay. So I'm going to pop that loose. Okay. So now you're released. We're using the special key to get you off the bike. Okay. But let's look at what's happening with some of the physics here. So I did a really quick little diagram of this idea of center of mass, okay, because that's what's important in terms of our bike. We have a 275-pound weight which is 60 inches below the cable, and our visitors are 30 inches above the cable. And the center of mass is this concept where you can think of all the forces acting on the system are acting at that one point. Okay. As long as the center of mass is below the cable, you're gonna be stable. So I have a little model here of our bike. This would be right? me. This is you up on top. <laughs> we have our weight down below. And as long as the center of mass, which on a normal rider, 100 pound fifth grader, is 36 inches below the cable. And what that means is, you're always going to be restored back to a vertical position. So the question is, how big would the person have to be in order to get the center of mass to be right at the cable? Because then you could turn completely sideways. All right. And? Well, it's 550 <laughs> pounds. Okay. It's a quick answer. Okay. You could work out the math, or you could reason it out. This weight is twice as far away from the pivot point as this mass is. So 550 pounds will get you even. But it still makes me wonder, though, and I think we should try it, just to see how much force it would take to actually tip the bike at an appreciable distance. And we're not going to ride it. We're okay. going to tie a rope on it. We're going to push it out, and then we're going to tug on it and see what it feels like. Okay, so Jay, we've got a rope tied on the bike here, and this is not something we normally do, but I wanted you to appreciate how difficult it would be if you did tie a rope on the bike and tried to pull it over, how much force you'd have to apply. So why don't you go ahead by yourself, right. try to give here it a tug there. Tug of war with the bike. So, oh, I'm moving the that, bike. That's okay. That's Hold okay. On. That's okay. Just but keep it's not. Just keep tugging on it. Let me. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get on the back of the rope. Let's both try to do it. Okay. okay. Ready? One, yep. two, three. So as we. Okay. Yeah, that's very. I don't know. Difficult. That looks like maybe 30 degrees. It's if not. That. If that. Yeah. It is near impossible. In fact, it is impossible to flip the bike over. Especially if you notice, the cable goes right through the bar that supports the weights. So even if you were that mythical 555 pound person that was sitting on the bike, which uh -huh. we don't allow people that heavy on the bike, um, you would only be able to get it halfway. And even then the bike wouldn't tip over. So and you're strapped in. You're strapped in. Yeah. So. Totally safe, but it is amazingly difficult to get that thing to actually tilt. It is. And this is a great way to prove it. Two guys trying to pull it from the side, still no chance of it flipping. Center of mass well below the pivot point, so Very it's cool. completely safe. Another great one. Thank you sure. so much. For Carl Nelson, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Bershback, and that was Imagine It. Whew, man, I'm glad they did that <laughs> math for me. All right, here's a look at the Imagination Station's hours. They're open today from 10 to 5, and just a reminder, uh, Lucas County residents who are 12 and under get in free with an adult, I believe, today. Carl Nelson has a beautiful mind. Okay. Hey, it's winter go home in the Ohio basketball playoffs. Let's go check out the day of the sports.